whenever you think of a desert, you think of something like this. But whenever you hear a food desert, that's not what this is. This is the reality of a food desert. Food deserts occur all around us, and this is even in our own community in Lubbock. Food deserts are a lack of nutritional foods, and they're, if there are nutritional foods, they're not nearby, making it in, inaccessible for people to access these healthy food options. You can see here by campus, there are so many um, fast food restaurants, but there's no actual nutritious um, options at these restaurants. Food deserts are a very common problem around the United States that not a lot of people are aware of. Now we're going to turn it to some of our fellow college students who are going to discuss what a food desert is and how to combat this common issue. So what are you guys eating for lunch today? Um, I'm going to have some Sonic, I think. I want to go to Taco Bell. I'm thinking about Roosters Cafe. I don't know. I wish we just had like HEB closer or something so I could go to the store and make something healthy. I know. HEB is like 20 minutes away. Or we, I wish we would have had a Whole Foods here. Yeah. Or a Trader Joe's. That would be kind of nice. I only got the gas when we get there though, so. It's kind of hard to drive all the way over there. Especially as a broke college student. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's so far away. <laughs> what y'all feel about that mental health exam? Mm. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, not to eat shot, but it sounds like y'all were talking about what y'all were doing for lunch. Yes. So y'all are going to go to Rose's and all those fast food restaurants? Yeah. 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 There's nowhere really else we can go. Yeah. Well, that sounds like y'all are living in a food desert. Wait, what's that? Okay, well, a food desert is an area of land. It can be anywhere in the U.S. And there's not a lot of access to healthy nutritional food options or grocery stores might be falling apart. There's a lot of fast food restaurants available, but not a whole lot of healthy food options. So in a lot of times in these areas, obesity rates and diabetes rates are very high, but because the people can't afford the healthy food options, these rates keep increasing. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, so it sounds like what you're saying is that it's a smaller population with a higher concentration of minority residents and there's a higher level of unemployment rates and maybe a lower level of education. Exactly. Okay. Oh, so you're talking kind of like Texas Tech where like there's not like a lot of people who can afford like exactly. groceries and stuff like that, like college students. Yes, especially Texas Tech and the Lubbock community as well. Right, because it takes like 30 minutes to get just to get to HEB. Why does somebody else have a car? Right, and they say that there's all these affordable options, but whenever you're right, whenever the options are 30 minutes away, that doesn't really make it accessible to us. Exactly. Hey guys, I heard you talking about food desserts. Did you see Crumble just posted their new weekly flavors? Actually, we were talking about food deserts. Oh, I know what that is. We live in one. What what can we do to change that? Well, I'm pretty sure I heard that there was a farmer's market in Wolfer oh, yeah. on Saturdays, but I'm not really sure. Well, that seems a bit far. Sometimes availability of food in some areas are the problem, and finding real, reliable transportation um, to grocery stores and back is the main issue. Gas prices, um, finding uh, time to drive those long distance, or carrying groceries in public transportation vehicles can be the main issue. Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. Oh, I have an idea as well. What about that? Backyard and community gardens. Oh, that'd be oh, kind of smart. Good idea. Yeah. And also be cheaper. We could yeah. also do some like farmers set up farmers markets around campus or more local to us college students. Oh, yeah, it'd be really nice to be able to go to a farmers market or something like that to be able to access food and stuff. Yeah, yeah. we could get some fresh produce and not have to go 20 minutes away. We're tired mm -hmm. of eating the dining hall food. It's so expensive. Oh, okay, I'm tired oh, yeah. of that too. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late, y'all. I just went to HB to get a salad, and I swear that took me at least 30 minutes to get there, then to get the salad, and then another 30 minutes to come back. I was there for over an hour just trying to get lunch. Man, yeah, that's crazy. So I didn't find time in the day. I know. I hate living in a food desert. No, we yeah. were actually just talking about solutions to that. We were thinking oh. maybe a farmer's market, community gardens. And then I've, Royce was kind of talking about transportation and stuff, and maybe helping with people getting there and coming back. That way it's not so hard for people to yes. access. There's not really any accessible transportation on Lubbock, and whenever you do access it, there's no instructions on how to do so. So it yes. makes it so confusing. And the farmer's market would be so cool if it was on campus. Mm -hmm. I know I've been to the one at Wolford, and it took me so long to get there. And gas prices are getting so expensive nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I know with public transportation, no one wants to carry their groceries in those buses or yeah. into these random people's cars. So that's also an issue. Yeah. yeah. I think a really big thing is just raising awareness for people because I think it can be like a really big problem like all over. It's not just like one group of people. So yeah. maybe just finding ways to implement that and talking to people can really get the word out, you know? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can start implementing ways by talking to other people that we know. I mean, that's how small changes happen.
happen and those small changes can really add up and make a big impact in the community. Exactly, yeah. we should yeah. start a petition. That's a great idea. Yeah. 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 That sounds good. Yeah.